<laughs> it's the season of summer blockbusters. This weekend, we've got a spy movie, animation, and documentary. But will these new releases deliver? Film critic Jackson Murphy weighs in. Hitting the theaters this weekend are a few new movies. First up is Atomic Blonde, starring Charlize Theron as a spy in Berlin during the Cold War. This film is based on a graphic novel, so there's going to be a lot of stylized, visually wild action sequences. Charlize Theron, she's known for taking on challenging roles, so how do you think she'll do as a spy? She's probably very comfortable in a role like this because of the action movies she's done in the past. I hope it'll be entertaining, some fun elements to it. Don't shoot. I've, I've got your shoe. What's your verdict? Should we see it or skip it? I think see it at your own risk. Definitely, if you're not into this genre that at all, then you should skip it. The next big release is the Emoji Movie. The trailer looks pretty funny, but what do you think? When I heard this movie was being made, my initial reaction was, really? But here's the thing. Sony Pictures Animation. This studio knows what they're doing when it comes to making quality animated movies. The movie tells the story of Gene, an emoji who wants to express it more emotions than the one he's been assigned to. Son, please tell me you weren't laughing just now. I like the voice cast here. T.J. Miller, Anna Ferris, James Corden, and Patrick Stewart voices the poop emoji. I think that's going to get a lot of older people to see the film. So what do you think, Jackson? Should we see it or skip it? A month after Despicable Me 3, families are going to need something new to see in theaters. I think they should see the emoji movie. Last but not least is an inconvenient sequel, Truth to Power, a follow-up to Al Gore's film a decade ago. It'll be a little different than the first movie 10 years ago. When An Inconvenient Truth came out, it shocked people. It was all about climate change. Now, there's more of that here in this sequel. Also, renewable energy focuses here, but there are also going to be political undertones and some blatant attacks on the current presidential administration. So, Jackson, should we see it or skip it? If a documentary about renewable energy and lots of PSAs is your thing, then you should see it. If it's not, then you should skip an inconvenient sequel. So there it is, your weekend movie preview. Many are predicting the Emoji Movie and Atomic Blonde will be neck and neck at the box office. Both are expected to rake in around $30 million this weekend.